Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 92nd Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at the operation of contraposition. Now, contraposition is only a valid operation for A and O statements. Let's take a look. Contraposition is defined as switching the subject and predicate and exchanging them for their term complements. What a term complement is, is just the opposite of whatever that term is. The term complement of horse is non-horse, the term complement of blue is non-blue, and the term complement of S is just non-S. Let's take a look. So, for the A statement, all S are P, we fill in our Venn diagram as normal, shading in the area of S that is not P. The contraposition of this statement would be all non-P are non-S. Once again, we're going to end up with the exact same Venn diagram, because what this diagram is saying is things that are not P, things that are outside of that diagram of P, are also not S. So if it's outside of P, it can't be in the area of S. So we shade that same area. Because the diagrams look identical, this is a valid argument. Similarly, O can be done with contraposition as well. Some S are not P, we fill in our diagram as normal. Some non-P are not non-S. That's just a double negation there on the S, so we could just say this as some non-P are S. If something that is not in that P circle is an S, that X just goes in the S only side. So, this is also a valid form of argument. That was contraposition that's only going to be valid for A and O. Illicit contraposition is when you try to do that for E and I. Check that out in Fallacy February. Next up, we're going to be doing a version, which is valid for all four versions of categorical propositions. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.